Today I'm going to show you the essence of lighting for your subject. In photography or video, your set should have good lighting. If not, you will not get a good product for your video or your photography. So what is the best photography lighting for you? Hi, this is Rina, and if you want more tips on building a successful photography business, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified of a new video when I release it. So listen up because I share strategies and the best lighting kit and lighting photography on this two-part series. Number one, fluorescent light. There are different types of lights that are available for your photography and video needs. For the first one, the fluorescent light is these have increasingly become well known to many because you can buy these either for outdoor light or indoor light. Indoor light, which is being 3200 Kelvin, and the outdoor light being sunlight, that's 5600 Kelvin. The advantages of fluorescent light is that they don't use much power, which is very favorable when you are lighting set since you can use a lot of power and some lights. Not to mention that they are reasonably cool, so they last for a long time. Yes, the bulb definitely does. On the other hand, some of the disadvantages of fluorescent light is that though you need to use several fluorescent bulbs in order to actually get something lit up. So in the process, they can be a bit more costly than the halogen lights. And speaking of halogen lights, this is the second type of light, the halogen quartz light. The advantages of these types of lights are they are very affordable, their bulbs also last for a long time. Most of all, using halogen lights mean they are very bright, so that you can leave a bright light of your set for video or photography, which is fantastic. However, the disadvantage of halogen lights is that they get rather hot, so there's a lot of power consumption to watch out for. Next one, now the incandescent lights. Incandescent lights are very well known because these are commonly light bulbs you see at the lamps at your house. These are really cheap to buy as well as they can be useful for videos. However, the downsides of these incandescent lights are they are really don't look that professional and they do not give off much lighting that you really want. The fourth type of light is the HMI lights. These HMI lights are commonly used by big studios for lighting indoor studios to make them look as if they have that outdoor lighting since they have that Kelvin appearance. But Take note that they can be very pricey. Well, we have discussed the different types of lights. Now we need to talk about light manipulation. If you buy a lighting kit, there are two basic types of things that are going to come with you. With your kit or light manipulation. And the first one is direct light or a spotlight or a hard light. This hard light ranges anything from a floodlight to a narrow beam focusing light. We manipulate the type of light by actually using something called barn doors. And barn doors fold in and out and you're able to direct the flight. The light. The second light of type light manipulation is called diffused light. Now, diffuse light is a soft light hitting your subject. It fills some of the tough shadows. Now, there are many ways in creating diffuse light. You can reflect off the ceiling of anything of that nature and it will diffuse the light back into the subject. The two most common things used to diffuse light are umbrellas and soft boxes. Now that you know the light manipulation, what are the types of light considering when you buy your lighting kit? 
Know that these factors before throwing your hard-earned cash and buying a light kit. So the factors in buying light kit are number one, portability. Because you need a light kit that's portable and you can carry wherever you go for your convenience. The second one is the add-ons. So ask yourself, does it come with a stance? Does it come with accessories? Like the barn door and the soft boxes, since this is gonna be your business, you will be needing those things when you're seriously considering buying your light kit. Take note that flexibility is the most important thing. Hope you enjoy the first part of the photography lighting series. Work on those and you'll definitely get there. Stay tuned for the second part of this series about lighting photography. And by the way, I happen to have a free guide that helps you land more photography jobs. Please click this link for the free ebook to master more photography skills to earn more money as easy as 1, 2, 3. So click, share, subscribe, and click the bell icon so that you'll be notified of any free videos when I release them. Make money with photos.gr8.com Thank you, have a nice day, and see you in the next shop, second part series. Thank you.